Understanding the phrase, wish for the moon. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase, wish for the moon. This expression might sound whimsical, but it has a deeper meaning in the English language. Let's explore what it means and how you can use it in your everyday conversation. Wish for the moon is an idiomatic expression in English. It refers to desiring something that is impossible or extremely unlikely to obtain. This phrase evokes the image of someone wishing to possess the moon, a beautiful yet unreachable object in the sky. We often use it to describe someone who has unrealistic ambitions or dreams. The origin of wish for the moon is not precisely known, but it's believed to date back centuries. The phrase might have originated from old folklore or myths where characters often desired or reached for unattainable things. It echoes the human tendency to long for the unachievable, symbolized by the distant and untouchable moon. You can use wish for the moon in various contexts. For example, when someone has unrealistic goals, John is wishing for the moon if he thinks he can learn 10 languages in a year. To gently admonish unrealistic desires, I know you want a mansion, but right now, we need to be practical. Let's not wish for the moon. It's a phrase that adds a poetic touch to your language, helping you express the idea of impractical aspirations in a nuanced way. English is rich with phrases of similar meanings. For example, pie in the sky, something that is pleasant to contemplate but is unlikely to be realized. Chasing rainbows, pursuing something that is unrealistic or impossible to achieve. Understanding these phrases can enrich your English vocabulary and help you better express ideas about dreams and realism. Wish for the moon is a beautiful, metaphorical expression that enriches the English language. It reminds us of the balance between our dreams and reality. We hope this video has been enlightening and adds a new phrase to your English repertoire. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.